This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're heading here for Warrington Lara 2. I'm joined by Kaylee Reese. How are you? Very good, thank you. How are you doing? I knew we'd get it done eventually. Yes, we did. I mean, it only took the third time I was here, but it's okay. Well, okay, okay. I'm going to take full blame for it. But I did message you earlier and say that we'll get it done. No, you slid in my DM. I don't really answer the people I don't follow, but I answered and I followed you, so we're cool now. We're, we're buddies. You don't refer to it as slid into your DMs. Yeah, slid in my DM. I just messaged you. Yeah, but that, you slid. Slid means something else here in England. So you, you messaged me. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, just obviously, Ebony Bridges come for a tough fight yeah. with uh, Gangloff yeah. tonight. We're going to have a, grab a word with Ebony in a little while. But let's talk about you for a second because this yeah. tournament, everyone's talking about it. It's a great tournament. Uh, obviously, uh, two semi finals, should we say, between Chantal Cameron uh, and Mary McGee and yourself and uh, Jessica Kamara. So you must be excited. I'm very excited. This is the first time women's boxing that I have like a tournament or a Super Six or any kind of series like this. So I'm really excited to be part of one of the hottest divisions of women boxing right now. It's, you know, it's a long time coming. We've been talking about this for like a year now. So I'm really happy that it's finally happening. So Jessica Kamara's obviously she's got in late and she's been around today, but if you guys had a chat and, you know. Yeah, we went to breakfast after we did the interview. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, we respect one another. I mean, she's managed by Brian Cohen as well, so I've known her for quite some time now. I actually commentated one of her fights too, so you know. But when the bell rings, it's the business. So I'm excited to fight. She's a good fighter, so it's going to be exciting. Do you have a preference, or do you have a pick who wins out of Cameron and McGee? I don't have a preference. I just I think I'm more excited about that fight than my own because I think it's going to be a great fight. So I just want to be there. If I can make it, I'm going to come. How easy is it to? kind of just put this together. We know, obviously, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn has put this together, but this is like, you guys are fighting, you hold two titles, you're fighting for the vacant WBO, they've got the other belts. It's just, there's a, there's a path there to getting everything, obviously, road to undisputed. Yeah, I mean, I had the opportunity to win the WBA last year and just defended it and then won it, won the IBO last, two weeks ago. So to put this all together, I mean, it takes really good fighters to win those titles. So now that everybody has a title, it's not like, you know, somebody's fighting somebody that, you know, is coming from a different country with a crappy record. We're actually all the best in the division. So it's it takes a lot. It takes, um you know, us to take the fights as well and wanting to fight the best. You know, not all fighters are in it to fight the best, but we are. So why are you the best, though? Because I'm, my name is Kaylee, that's why. I'm <laughs> I mean, everybody is fighting for their own reasons, but at the end of the day, we all have a common goal. But I think we're all fueled by our, uh, our own personal reasons to win. So I think it's going to make for a really, really good fight. No matter how you slice it, no matter who fights who. Um, you know, I've been here for a while, so it's, it's my time. That's why I'm the best. <laughs> Eddie Hearn revealed that your fight with uh, Jessica Wall most probably land on the Andrade card uh, in Providence. I'm so excited. I get to fight in my hometown on undercard with Demetrius Andrade. We are like kid friends. I've known him forever. So Jason Quigley, possibly. That's really that's gonna be possibly, a possibly. I'm gonna say possibly. All right. I mean, more than Mario. That's a stacked card in Providence, Rhode Island during Native American Heritage Month. I like it. Three belts. Yeah, I'll take it. You don't want to fight in England, though. No? I know, I want to. I was kind of upset when I knew that I wasn't going to be here, but I'm kind of happy it's in my hometown. I want to fight here, though. I love y'all. The crowd is insane. She says that, Mary. Y'all. 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 You all. You all. You all. You all. Y'all. What would you be to say? Um, I don't know, but just Mary said it yesterday in my interview with her. She was like, yow, yow. Yeah. And Mary, you're saying. Mary has a, a, a country draw accent. She's from Indiana, you know? Mary's crazy, by the way. I love Mary, though. But she's, man, that's, that's what I mean. It's going to be a really good fight. She has a lot of passion behind what she does, no matter what it is. So. I was interviewing her and frightened at the same time. <laughs> you're like 7 foot 14. Yeah, Why know, you but Mary scares me. Why? I feel the, like any point, she's going to give me a left hook to the body. That's a good thing. So you should know her fight in camera is going to be a great fight. <laughs> yeah, that's what I look for in life. If they can body shot me, they're going to do well in the ring. Exactly. <laughs> You're the expert. Kaylee, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We look forward to that fight. Both semi-finals are great fights. And then the final in February, where we find out exactly who's the best.
We'll see you in February then. Thank you very much. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? No, well, congratulations to Ebony Bridges, and thank you for everybody following us and who came out to the fight tonight. Thank you for Eddie Hearn and Lou DiBella for finally putting this fight together with this tournament. So I'll see you guys in November and February. What has Eddie Hearn said to you this week? Oh, we had a little chat about some things that happened at the hotel earlier. <laughs> we can't talk about that. Why not? It was kind of funny, though. I'm not going to comment on that. We just can't disclose this information on IFL because uh, it's not public knowledge. So It's all good. But no, me and Eddie had a chat about where the fight was going to be, how excited we are. We finally put the tournament together. We had our own you know, side chat about things. But he's, he's very talkative. He's excited about the tournament too. He's been trying to do this for, I think, a year and a half now. We look forward to it. Uh, starting October 30th on the Dillian White undercard between Cameron and McGee. Um, thank you very much for your time, Kaylee. Thank you very much for having me, finally. Wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, and hopefully we'll catch you again soon. You will, I'll be back here. Thank you. Thank you.